Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. This is Jessie here and today we are going to address some elephants in the room and talk everything about the Speedy. So stay tuned. I'm going to warn you, this conversation is going to be anything but Speedy. So I have put timestamps down below. I've also linked all the sources of everything that I'm going to go over today. With that being said, grab a water, snack, wine, coffee. I've got my cafecito cubano in my FIU little coffee cup. Go Panthers! I miss Florida so much. Cheers and let's get started. As you know, Pharrell Williams is now the creative director for Louis Vuitton and he just debuted his first uh, men's collection. He wore a Speedy that is allegedly a million dollars. You may have seen it all over the internet and I'm here to tell you why. In my nine to five, I am a branding and marketing a strategist for a corporate global fortune 500 company and i'm here to tell you this this bag this campaign was a marketing plan that was executed beautifully beautifully because it did exactly what it was designed to do get everybody to talk about it a lot of people are saying, oh, this is an abomination. This is ridiculous. How can Louis Vuitton, you know, put out a bag that costs a million dollars and it, you know, it doesn't cost a million dollars to make it. Of course it doesn't. But with that being said, the Birkin or the Kelly doesn't cost upwards of $10,000 to make. Neither does the Chanel Classic Flap that's now going for 10000 something dollars with, with the hardware falling off of the bag and people having all these quality issues. This was nothing but a marketing tactic. And Pharrell Williams, you know, musician, artist, newly appointed creative director for Louis Vuitton was the perfect person to wear this. He wore it, he got everybody talking about it. Louis Vuitton did their job. Personally, I am glad that the Speedy is getting the recognition that it deserves. Why? Because when I think of Louis Vuitton, I really don't think about the Capucines. The three things that come to my mind when I think of Louis Vuitton are travel and trunks, or the trunks, that's one. Two is the Speedy, and three is the No Way. If you are considering on purchasing a Speedy, you have come to the right place. I am going to give you one of the most comprehensive reviews on this bag that is available on YouTube. We're gonna go over everything. We're gonna use my Speedy B in the size 30 to demonstrate some things. Imagine you get in a time machine and you go back to 1837. The methods of transportation at this time were either by boat, train, or horse-drawn carriages. So you can imagine that luggages are getting thrown around, they are getting just tossed, and that was when Louis Vuitton, at the age of 16 years old, decided that he wanted to become a trunk master. He made a name for himself, he started designing these trunks, and it was 17 years later that he opened his first boutique store in France. I believe the name of the street was called Capucines, which is the Capucines bag, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna clarify that below here if I'm incorrect. Now, fast forward to 1886, um, Louis and his son George invented the unpickable lock. Now, some of these mechanisms are still in some of their trunks and um, accessories to this day. At that time, they even challenged Harry Houdini, who was an escape artist, to try to escape from a Louis Vuitton trunk. Now, Houdini didn't rise to the challenge, but that just goes to show you how confident they were in their product. Fast forward to today and Louis Vuitton has become the massive company and brand that it is because of the creative efforts of Marc Jacobs, Stephen Sprouse, Takashi Murakami, Kim Jones, Virgil Albo, may he rest in peace, and now the newly appointed creative director, Pharrell Williams. Louis Vuitton is now part of the umbrella company LVMH, which includes some of your favorite brands like Fendi, Bulgari, Givenchy, Loewe, Celine, and much more. Louis Vuitton has an excellent brand equity. When people see the monogram or the prints, they know that you're carrying Louis Vuitton. Some of you may think that the monogram print came out first, but it was actually the Damier Ben print that came out. Now, this does have another iteration. It's called the Damier Azure, and that is white with like bluish gray um, squares. But this was the first print that came out, and it was created to resemble a chessboard. Damier in French actually means checkerboard, so that's why you see all the squares around. Later, I believe in 1896, came the monogram print, and this was created to prevent counterfeit products from being sold. 
And here you have the LV. These little portions right here are called the florets and they were inspired by Japanese and Asian aesthetic when he was designing this. When you get your Louis Vuitton Speedy, it's probably gonna come in a box like this. This is a really sturdy box and it is just the classic Louis Vuitton box. It has a magnetic closure right here, so it stays closed. When you open the box, you're going to find your Speedy folded up inside of the dust bag. Now, don't worry, that's perfectly normal and I'll show you how I fold mine, but it'll come in this dust bag. Now, this is a very nice, thick dust bag here. It is made of cotton and it has drawstrings to keep it nice and sealed up. I don't recommend that you store your Speedy when you're not using it folded up in the bag because you just don't want the canvas to crack over time. But it is best practice to stuff it up, put it inside the dust bag, and then put this on an even surface that is room temperature in like a well-ventilated area. Aside from the bag and the dust bag, you're also going to get the lock and key because you can actually lock up this bag. Now, I never even took my lock and key out of this bag here and it's tarnished a lot. You can kind of see that there if I put it up against the light. And it just has like a little spring mechanism that pops it open. And you can actually see the difference there of the non-tarnished part and then the tarnished part up top. But it still works. It has the LV in the front and then it says Louis Vuitton Paris in the back and you get a key and a spare. Now to the fun stuff, the paperwork. My receipt came in this little envelope thing here. Let's see. It also comes with like the serial code sticker. This like coated fabric, how high leather trim. I guess it tells you what it's made of. And my receipt from Saks where I purchased the bag. Let's see here. This was May 27th, 2019. And the bag retailed for $1,450. With tax, I paid a total of $1,551 with 50 cents. A little fun fact about this purchase, I purchased it because I had just passed my 12-week milestone of being pregnant with my first son. And I gifted myself a little something because I deserved it. And creating a human being is pretty hard work. <laughs> So folding your Speedy is pretty easy. Just make sure that you don't have any stuffing or an organizer or anything like that in there. You're just going to go ahead and close the zipper and then you're going to flip the bag upside down. And this may look kind of weird, but this is how you do it. You just get the middle and you fold down and you fold one side over the other. Just adjust it a little bit. And just make sure that all of your folds are nice and neat. I'm just kind of adjusting it here to make sure that it's all perfect. And that's how you get your speedy sandwich. You grab the dust bag. You put it just like that into the dust bag. And it goes just like this into the perfectly sized box. Now, let's say you wanted to lock your bag. You're going to see that the zippers have these two little circles up top. The fastest way to do it is to just slip this like this so that it looks like that. And then you just get your lock and you lock the top loop like that. And then this way, no one can open the zipper because it is a two-way zipper. So even if they pull on it, this side is still going to close. And to unlock it, you just go ahead, turn the key, it'll spring up, and then unlock it like that. Now this version, which is the Damier Ben, is a coated canvas. The parts that are leather are the handles. This is the bandelier version, which we'll get into in a minute, but these straps here on the side are made of leather. And the crossbody strap that it comes with is also made of leather and gold tone hardware. Some people just like the look of the bag itself without the 
straps stitch into the sides but if you're considering on purchasing this bag and you're planning on stuffing it to the brim the way that i was i suggest that you get the bandelier version because you can buy a strap from louis vuitton or from another source and you can attach a clip from here and have it run to here but over time these stitches here are going to start to pop because this was not meant to hold all that weight and i have seen it happen so i strongly recommend it the way that the strap works is that you just clip it onto the sides here this strap in particular is adjustable on both sides you can adjust it here and also here now this one does not come with the second loop so I suggest that you put this on the shortest one so that you don't have a lot of excess hanging out. However, this side here does come with the second loop. So I would suggest that you leave the most excess that you can on this side and then use this loop to secure it so that the strap isn't folding up or whatnot. The strap has these little clips that say Louis Vuitton. Now mine is scratched all up because I have beat this bag up. There is the second one. It also says Louis Vuitton and they are on a swivel so you don't have to clip them inward or outward they kind of just move according to how you're moving the handles are rolled handles they're very firm now if you do want to get this in the vaquetta please keep in mind that the vaquetta is a natural untreated leather that requires some maintenance and just caution and i got the damia ben print mainly because of the treated handles this bag here is the 30 and you've got the dimensions of 11.8 inches across, 8.3 inches up top, and then 6.7 inches here at the base. So it's going to hold your essentials plus a lot more. Here on the zippers, it says LV. No matter which way the zipper is facing, it says LV. The zipper is gold. These little rivets here say Louis Vuitton on them. And then you've got like this um ring here that connects this sewn in portion to the handle here are the little d rings on the side with those little rivets that say louis vuitton down here it says louis vuitton paris and then you've also got the d ring here on this side like that looking inside the bag it opens like this. I have a purse organizer in here and I highly suggest that if you purchase this bag, you buy one too, because you just want to protect the lining of the bag. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that out. Now I bought this one on Amazon and it's from the brand, whatever that's called. And the great thing about this bag is that you can sport so many different looks. This bag naturally slouches so when you stuff it up, and I'll show you now, it kind of sags at the bottom. But if you like the more structured look, you can just pop in an organizer. And it'll keep it pretty sturdy. In the inside, you've got a rich red textile lining. And you have a small zippered compartment here. The zipper is pretty smooth. And it's a great way to keep the loose items that you don't want inside of your bag. You can imagine that a lot will fit in here. But I'm just going to quickly give you some examples of some things that I have here. This is a full continental wallet and that fits in there with plenty of room to spare. I also have a book and you can see with just those two items it kind of sags like that. I've got a cosmetic case here, a journal. I'm just gonna kind of like stack everything up so that it looks nice and organized and that's what it looks like in there so far and you've got plenty of room for more things i love these prime energy drinks this is comparable to a bottle of water and you can definitely put a bottle of water standing up there in the corner and here for just fun i'm gonna throw in my victorine wallet so i've got everything that i need in here i've also put compact umbrellas um, a mid to mini sized ipad will also work in here I don't think this is an ideal bag for putting in a laptop, but I'm pretty sure if you have a small laptop, you can definitely get away with it in this bag. After owning this bag for four years and wearing it every single day for at least two of those years, I can tell you that the wear and tear in this is great. It's very minimal. I have some rubbing there on the corners, which is kind of expected. 
when you're using this so much, this corner is probably the worst one here. And there's that corner. And it seems that I have a little bit of cracking where some of the canvas print has rubbed off right here. I don't know what this is, but it seems to be coming off. I do have some scratches here on the bandelier strap. And then here, right here, I do have a part of the canvas print that came off. I must have really scratched it up against something there. The handles are still looking amazing even after all this time. Some of the glazing here has worn off, but that's expected. Let's see there, let me go to the other side. These still look in pretty good condition. There's that there. And you can see that some of the hardware is really scratched up and starting to tarnish. Now these D-rings here take a beating. <laughs> these are probably the most tarnished ones and you can already see kind of there on the sides that some of the edging or glazing is starting to come apart. Now keep in mind, I have never cleaned this bag or cared or treated this bag. I haven't cared for it at all. I know that sounds awful, but this is what you get. This is it. This side here for the bandelier strap is in pretty good condition compared to the other side. All things considered, I still think that it's in amazing shape for all the wear that I gave it. Here are some mod shots so you can see what it looks like on. I'm 5'7", about 150 pounds for reference, and I have it a little bit more formal here with a work outfit. The organizer is in the bag, so you see that it holds its structure a lot better. And here it is with a lounge outfit. You can take this bag from formal or semi-formal to very casual. I don't have the organizer in it here or here, so you can see how the bag just kind of naturally sags. I went on Louis Vuitton's website and just searched for the word speedy. I didn't want to get into all the different sizes and types that are available. As you can see here, there is a lot of options. You've got the Nano Speedy, which is the teeny tiny one, to the Speedy 20, the Speedy 25, Speedy 30, Speedy 35, and the Speedy 40. You've got them in all sorts of prints, um, strap options. You can also personalize it and and you've also got some pretty cool artist collaborations. So if you're interested, I definitely think that you should go to the website and check it out for yourself. Now, in terms of your investment, what are you going to pay for this, right? You saw that I paid $1,450 for it plus tax. I paid about $1,500 all in. Right now on Louis Vuitton's website, this exact same bag and we're in July of 2023 bag is retailing for $1,890 on the website for this exact same size and model. That's about a 23% increase over the course of four years. And if you take what I spent on it four years ago, my cost per wear comes out to about a dollar a day. The resale market for it is all over the place. You can find some as low as $500 up to more or less the retail price for it. So this is a bag that is meant to be worn and loved. I've used it so many times for traveling. I used it as a smaller diaper bag for my first son. I used it for work. I've used it for everything. And it is my favorite bag in my entire collection. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. I hope you found this informative. And if you're considering on purchasing this BD and you have any other questions that I didn't cover here, please ask me in the comment section below. I hope you have a wonderful day and take care. Bye.